Hi, this is attorney David Wynn, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question, can you help me report marriage fraud? The short answer is yes. So about a week ago, I watched a video from a different immigration attorney, and he says something along the lines of, no real or self-respecting immigration attorney will help someone else notify the government of marriage fraud. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if someone comes to me, and they tell me that they are or they know someone that has been a victim of marriage fraud, I'm going to take a minute to hear them out. I'm not just going to dismiss them. To prove that I'm a real immigration attorney, I'm going to just quickly summarize my background. I am licensed to practice law as an attorney in the state of Texas, licensed to practice in federal court, and I'm admitted to practice in the US Supreme Court. I have worked at nonprofit organizations, private law firms, and several multi-million dollar companies in the immigration department. So if you want to hear from a real immigration attorney with over a hundred online reviews and dozens of online YouTube client testimonials, I'm your attorney. Now let's get back to the topic of marriage fraud. First, let me just say that marriage fraud is a very big issue. It not only impacts the victims of marriage fraud, but it corrupts the entire U.S. immigration system. If you file an immigration case right now and you wonder why it takes so long, you have people who commit immigration fraud to thank. This is why Curly in Houston is currently taking 23 and a half months just to process a normal marriage-based green card case. Secondly, the reason why I help victims of marriage fraud is because I honestly believe I am the best type of person to accept such cases. If you have a tax issue, you go to an accountant. If you have a toothache, you go to a dentist. So if you have an immigration issue as serious as marriage fraud, you should go to an immigration attorney. Now I can understand why many immigration law firms do not assist with marriage fraud cases. It's sticky. It's very complicated, and some people just don't know how to put together a clear and strong case to evidence marriage fraud. For marriage fraud cases, you must have one of two things. Either you have strong evidence that someone married another person just to obtain immigration benefits, or two, the facts of your case blatantly indicate that marriage fraud exists. Have you been a victim of marriage fraud or know someone that was? Leave a comment and let us know what happened and if this person decided to notify the authorities. This is Winning Law and thanks for watching.